Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to go ahead and be taking apart, well, taking off the truck bed of the truck and show you guys the ugliness of everything going on. Last night in the surprise upload, you guys saw the nasty fenders. And now we're gonna show you the rest of the nastiness when we get that taken care of. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take our tail lights out first. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the tunnel cover off. And we're gonna actually put the tunnel cover onto the GMC, the LB7. And we're gonna take the tailgate off as well. I'm gonna keep the tailgate because the tailgate is actually a rust-free tailgate that I got a long time ago. So as long as it's still rust-free when we take it off, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I might just sell the tailgate separately. I'm not 100% sure right now because I probably get more for the tailgate than I can the truck bed. All right, so I'm thinking about throwing these on the LB7. I really like these tail lights. They're recon tail lights. They're about $500. They're nice quality tail lights for not the big price of custom tail lights, but they're they're still high quality and they've done me very well for over four years now. So probably put these on the LB7. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and take the tailgate off, and this is actually really simple. All we have to do is unhook this, unhook this one, and it just lifts on out. All right, everyone, I do want to say that this is a Croil sponsored video and thank you to Croil for hopping on the channel, sponsoring the channel. We are going to want to take this bed off as neat as we can because I do want to try and sell it because there are people up in the north here, irregardless of the amount of rust that is actually on it, that I don't care for. There are people that do want to buy it because their truck beds, they might not even have one. So if I put it up there for hundred bucks, give somebody a good deal, they can go ahead and throw it on their truck that doesn't even have a truck bed. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to soak all of the mounting point bolts, we're gonna soak it all down with croil. Again, when it comes to croil, you're just gonna go ahead and let that sit for say 10, 15 minutes, and then you're gonna go through. There's eight total mounting points that we will be taking, taking care of today. So once we let that sit, we're gonna go ahead and take the gun and hopefully croil helps us take these bolts out nice and smooth so we don't have to deal with any grinding, any further issues that we might deal with because you guys know how rusty this truck is and man, it is rusty and it is bad. So we're gonna start with an 18 millimeter. Woo! First one, boom, came out perfectly. Look how nasty, nasty that bolt is. I'm telling you guys, Croil is the magic. All right, and then we got number two. Boom. Number three. Let's go with number four, guys. Let's go with number four. Here we go. That's a tough one. Gonna need a swivel ski. All right, so we just took care of five, and this is kind of our setup we had. Um, pretty simply, guys, just keep, keep cracking at it. All right, so this is the last one. Here we go. Easy peasy, you guys. Look at that. Boom. Look how nasty that bolt is, though. Once again, I want to thank Corel so much for hopping on the channel and sponsoring today's video and more videos to come in the future. Without them, this project would just be so much harder. I would have dealt with snap bolts. I would have dealt with rounded heads. All sorts of craziness that happens when you get these old rusty trucks like this that we're trying to take care of. Croil makes everything that much easier, easier. So make sure you go ahead and check the link below and get yourself a can of Croil. All right, so your next step is going to be making sure that your uh, fuel fill your tube here is disconnected and it's actually pretty simple. Um, there's gonna be two bolts here. Uh, let's see here, right there. Two bolts right there, you just disconnect that and then there's another one in the back there. Um, but mine isn't even connected. So I'll just go ahead and pop this clip off down here and we can just keep it this way. Now that that's out, we can go ahead and, ooh, ooh, be careful. Now my fuel tube is free. Go ahead and put your gas cap on so you don't get any crap in there. So now the last thing we need to do, we need to go ahead and disconnect this harness up here for the lights. That is actually 
connected to the truck bed itself. And so once we disconnect that, we're ready to lift this off. We're gonna go ahead for right now, just wrap it around the old ball hitch here so we can back the truck up to the point to where we are going to take the truck bed off. We've got the Danger Ranger hooked up to a string. This string is rated for 250 pounds for one string and we ended up doubling, tripling it up. So this is confidence, we got confidence. And we got a pulley up in the willow tree Got our ratchet strap dropped down. We got our ratchet strap to counter it. A nice straight line. And then we've got the string on all four points of the truck bed for four pull points at 250 pounds a piece. And the truck bed only weighs about 250 to 300 pounds, give or take some. And with all the rust, it probably weighs a little bit less than that. But you know what? We're pretty confident in this. So let's see how this does. One thing before you go ahead and try and lift your truck off, it's very important to try and just go ahead and make sure it's loose, just kind of like this. Do it on all four corners. I've already done it for you guys, but it's perfectly loose. Everything's gonna come up. We're gonna lift it about six inches. Verify that nothing is connected to the truck bed anymore and then continue to lift it up now Like I said as you saw there it was very easy for me to lift this up They're only about 250 pounds. So like I said if you have four people you can go ahead and do that We don't have four people. So we're going to try and do this ourselves Change of plans um, Ratchet straps for the wind now that string hold held up, but we only had one <laughs> and we should have doubled it up Probably would have held if we would have doubled it up or tripled it up, but we only had one here. So um Tied it to ratchet straps take two. All right, raise it up. All right, you're tight. Oh, hold on Hold on. All right <laughs> Really? Huh? I really surprised that rope. Same here. All right, take three Bigger rope. All right, so this is what our our final <laughs> Final looks, we should have just gone with this in the beginning, but you know what, it works. And uh, this is what we're doing, you guys. All right, raise her up. All right, you're tight. Easy. All right, raise up a little bit. Raise it up. Alright, stop. I'll pull the truck forward. All right, there she is in all her glory. Look at that rust bucket. This side's not bad, but man, when you get underneath here, you see these crossbars and stuff like that. That center one is pretty bad. It'll go to a new good home, new old good owner probably. Now we got to drop down. We're gonna go ahead and take off all of our straps and everything like that we got here. And then we're gonna go ahead and basically poster for sale, boys. And look at what we got going on over there. All right, I do want to say real quick, for those of you that are wondering, this is the pulley, the snatch block that we were using to do this. And honestly, you guys, you could probably do this yourselves. If you have a nice tree in your yard, you have a second vehicle, this is something you could easily do yourself. I also, I got Eric's assistance, obviously just cause I kind of wanted the assistance. It's always nice to have a helping hand. Um, but this is, this is something you can do yourselves in your driveways. Well, in your yard with a tree, with some ratchet straps and a snatch block, you can get it done. All right, so if you guys want to get a DIY diesel, first line of merchandise, American flag DIY diesel established 2022, send me a message on Instagram. I'm still currently setting up my shop right now, but I've got my shirts, I've got my screen prints. It is screen printed, so you want to make sure you wash them inside out, um, but it's high quality, 100% cotton, so make sure you guys let me know. But just look at this, you guys. We have our work cut out for us. I do not have a sandblaster, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this with an angle grinder and a wire wheel the entire way. We're gonna get as many points as we can. And we're gonna go ahead and end up using some Pour 15. That's what I am gonna use. Gotta get all this stuff off there. My goodness, wow, we've got a lot of work for us. Like I said, we're going to be going to do it and doing the rockers here shortly and cab corners. I'm gonna be doing them myself. I'm no body guy, so if I can do them, 
you guys can definitely do them. I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to tackle the rust on this truck. Like I said, the truck bed's not going to come for a while yet because I want to make sure I do this all done and get this done right. I may look at some local guys for possibly sandblasting it. I'll keep you guys updated on that point. But like I said, if you want one of these t-shirts, make sure you go ahead and send me a message on Instagram or TikTok if you follow me on TikTok. Unfortunately, you can't do it through YouTube. So until I get my website set up, you guys are gonna have to personally send me a message. It'll be $30 and then about $5 shipping costs. First line, I've got more to come. I'm excited about this, you guys. Hopefully you guys like the t-shirts. It took a long time for me to figure out what I wanted to do and I wanted to make sure I used 100% cotton. So stay tuned for this process, you guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you guys in the next upload.